Hi, this video segment is about how to input variables values from a C code using the scanf function. After this video lecture, we will be able to reach two main objectives. First, we will be able to get input from user into our C program. And second, we will be able to use the ampersand operator to retrieve the memory address of a variable. The standard input output library, stdio.h, provides us the scanf function. This function can be used to get user input when we run our C code. The basic interactivity between the user and our program is based on the combined use of the printf function for output and of scanf function for input. The scanf function requires two arguments. First, we need to specify the type of the input data. And second, different from what we did in other cases, we need to specify the location where the input data should be stored. The first argument to the scanf function must be one of the format specifier from the table in these slides between double quotes. For instance, double quotes percent %d double quotes specify that the input data is an integer value. The table in these slides present the different format specifier that we can use. Among the most used ones we have percent %d for integers, percent %f for floats and percent %c for chars. The second argument to scanf is a variable name preceded by the ampersand character. This holds except in the case the input data is a string of text. The ampersand character has several uses in C programming, but in this context means address of operator. This means that the input should be stored at the memory location reserved for that variable. When a variable is declared, space is reserved in the memory to store the data assigned to that variable. The number of reserved bytes depends on the data type of the variable. The address of operator can be also used to return the hexadecimal memory address where the variable data is stored. The scanf function can be also used to assign values to multiple variables. Its first argument must contain a list of formal specifiers, each separated by a space. The entire list must be enclosed in double quotes. The second argument must contain a comma separated list of variable names, each one preceded by the address of operator. These slides present how we can use the scanf function in practice. First, we begin a new program with a preprocessor instruction to include the standard input output library function. We add a main function that declares three variables. In the main function, after a variable declaration, we insert statement to get input from the user. Next, we insert statements to output the data. After printing the values of letter num1 and num2 variables, we print the address of the letter variable. Note that we, we are using the percent %p, that is the format specifier for a memory address. And with these slides, I'm done. Thank you.